Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 168. Problem number 116. Problem number 116. Please turn to page 168. And today is our lesson number 123. What did I say? 116 did I say? 116. One sixteen is a nasty one, I'm warning you. It says P is the product of integers one to thirty inclusive. The question simply is what is the the greatest integer k for which 3 raised to k is a factor of p. 3 raised to k is a factor of p. Now do we understand this question? What are they talking about? What is the greatest integer k for which 3 raised to k is a factor of p? For example, let me give you a simple example. I have to think right now. Okay, how about this one? For example, p, p is a product of integers 1 through 30 inclusive. Forget about all the other part. Here's the question. What is the greatest integer k for which 3k is a factor of Forget about this top part right now, pretend it doesn't exist. I'm going to give you something simple. Pretend the first two lines do not exist and replace this P, replace this P with 270. The question is, what is the greatest integer K? What is the greatest integer K for which 3 raised to K is a factor of 270? Well, let's find out. 270 can be written as 27 times 10. Let's break up 27. 27 is 3 times, and then we have 10. In other words, and then we have 10. In other words, 270 can be written as 3 raised to 3 times 10. Voila! What is the greatest integer k? What is the greatest value of k that will still qualify this quantity as a factor of 270? And the answer is 3. You see? 3 raised to 2 is also a factor of 270. 9 is a factor of 270. You can divide 270 by 9. 3 raised to 1 is also a factor of 270. You can divide 270 by 3. So 3 raised to 1 is a factor of 270. 3 raised to 2 is a factor of 270. 3 raised to 3 is a factor of 270. But 3 raised to 4 is not. 3 raised to 4 is 81. And 81 will not go into 81, uh, 270 will not go into 81 because 270 is made up of 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27 times 5 and a 2. And how are you going to divide into, how are we going to divide by 81? It's not going to go, we're going to get rid of 3 threes. And then what about this one? We can't divide 10 into 3. So what is the greatest integer k for which 3 raised to k is a factor of 270? And the answer to that question would be the greatest integer is 3. The greatest integer is 3. Now let's do the problem. Now that we have a little bit of a better understanding as to what they're asking here, except here we don't have some nice easy number of 270. We have a number which is a very large number. A number happens to be, P happens to be, product of all the integer, all the integer, 1 through 30. Oh my God. 1, 2, 3, 4, I begin to worry how we are going to do it if I cannot count. 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, Jesus. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन फाइनली टेन I'm going to stop at that. Let's make it simple. I'm going to stop at that because if we did all the all of the all the 38 once, it's going to be too overwhelming. Let's start with something simple. Let's start with something simple. What is the product? Oh, sorry. P is the product of all the integers one through ten inclusive. What is the greatest integer k for which three to the k is a factor of p? Let's find out, shall we? You see this three right here? That three can be written as three as to one. You see 6 right here? That 6 can be written as 2 times 3. So there, there is another power of 1. You see this 9 there? That 9 can be written as 3 raised to 2. And all the other numbers that you see there, the, the 1 and the 2 and the 4 and the 5 and the 7 and the 8 and the 10, play no role because they do not have a factor of 3 in them. 10 can be written as 5 times 2. There are no other factors of 3. So what is the greatest power that you can use and still express this product P? As, a, as a 3 raised to k is a factor of p, the answer is p can be written as some integer n times 3 raised to 1, 2, 4. Voila! The answer in this case is 4. What is the, one more time, what is the greatest integer k for which 3 raised to k is a factor of all the pro product of all the integers 1 through 10 inclusive? The answer is the greatest value of k is 4. Now what is this n equal to here? Do you know? If somebody would ask you, what's the value of n in this context, in this problem? We have changed the problem. That's not the problem in the book. We're, we're going to come to the problem that is in the book in a second. We're taking a baby step. We are right now we are up to 10. So what's the value of n in this context? The value of n in this context would be here. Here, n equals, okay, watch what happens. n equals 1 times 2 times 1. You see, I'm, not, I'm putting 1 here to hold the place for 3. That's a, that's a place for 3. And then 4, and then 5, and then the place for 6. Now, place for 6, we only took out the 3, but the 2 is still remaining. So, times 2, times 7, times 8, times 1. The 1 is holds the place for 9. Because the entire 9 was taken out as 3 raised to 2. And times 10. Voila! So that's the value of n. That is what n equals to in this context. Now let's go one more step. Now we go, we're going to graduate from elementary school to middle school. Let's make it 20. Nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to change. It's just we have to do more work. But I'm going to erase everything because I have no room here. I was, I was, I was taking too much liberty with the space here because I wanted to make sure that everything is uh, easy to read. So now we're going to go up to 20. Watch what happens. P equals 1 times 2 times 3 times 6 times 9 times 10. And then 11 times 12 times 13, 14, 15 times 16, 17, 18 times 19 and times 20. Let's find out how many threes are in this one. Okay, let's do it here. This one has three is to one. This one six is two times two times three. We already did that part. Nine, we wrote that as three squared. So, so far we have one power here, one power here. That's two so far, and then four so far. Same as before. Nothing has changed. Now watch what happens. I did not bother writing all the numbers out. I only wrote down ones that were multiple of three. Eleven. 12, 12 can be written as 3 times 4. 14 has no, no factor of 3. Oh, sorry, 13 has no factor of 3. 14 has no factor of 3. 15 can be written as 5 times 3. So that's another power. That's another power. 16, we don't have to worry about it. 16 cannot be divided by 3. 17 is of no use. 18 is the next one. 18 can be written as 9 times 2 or 3 squared times 2 or 3 squared times 2. That's it. 20 has no factor of 3. So how many so far? We had 1, 2, 3, 4. We had 4 before obviously. Now we have 1 more here. 1, 2, oh, looks like 4 more. So we are up to 8. We are up to 8. 
So in this context, if this were the problem, if this were the question, if p is the product of all the integers 1 through 20, what is the greatest, what is the greatest integer k for which 3 to the k is a factor of 8? The answer in this case would be 8. Because we had 4 up to the top and we had 4 here. Do you understand? Don't be hasty. Don't pick a sucker answer. Don't just assume that the answer is going to be 12. Did they put down 12 as one of the answer choices? I would be very surprised if they didn't. But what do you know? The bloody 12 is there. Of course it's there. Let's do one more, shall we? Now we're going to graduate to 30. So we have one more, one more line. So we have 220. Then we have 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Voila. Let's do it out. 21 can be written as... 3 times 7, 24 can be written as 8 times 3, 27 can be written as 3 to the cube, 3 times 3 times 3, and finally 30 can be written as 3 times 10. How many more? So we have 1 here, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, and then finally 3 is to 1, which is 6. 1. The answer is 14. That's all. The answer is 14. We are done. That's your answer. Alright. What I'm going to do now actually, I'm going to actually give you a homework. I'm going to actually give you a homework. Oh, by the way, can you tell me in this context, in the context of this problem now, what is the value of n? Because you see this p, this p can be written as some integer n times 3 raised to 14. That's what we are claiming. 3 raised to 14. Of course, it can be written as p times some other number, some, some other integer, which is going to be 3 times n, and then it can be written as 3 as to 13 or 3 as to 12. But the greatest power that 3 can have is 14. That's what the question was. What is the greatest integer k for which 3 to the k is a factor of p? The answer is the greatest value of k is 14. Can you tell me what value of, what is the value of n in this context? Are you able to tell me? n would be n would be, this is, I'm going to write here very quickly, in this context, if somebody would ask you what n is, n here equals 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. You see how I'm writing 6? Six? 6 becomes 2 because we already took out the 3. It only remains 2. Times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10. You see 9 became 1 because we, we took out the entire 9. And finally, uh, not finally, but then we'll have 11 times 12, we took out 3, so it's only 4. 13 times 14 times 15 becomes 5. 15 becomes 5, because that 3 is taken out. Times 16 times 17 times 18, what did 18 become? 18 becomes a 2. Times 19 times 20, and then one more line, that's your n. Times 21, and 21 will be written as 7. 21 times 22 times 23 times 24 will be written as 8. And 25 is just 25. 25, 26, 27 is replaced with a 1. 27, entire 27 is taken out, so it becomes 1. And then finally, 28, 29, and 30 is simply written as 10. 30 is simply written as 10 because 3 is taken out. That's the value of n. That entire quantity is the value of n. Now p equals this n times 3 raised to 14. Voila. I'm going to stop here right now because I have the feeling this video has gotten very long. I didn't intend to make it so long. So if I were to continue with the next problem, it's going to be an extremely long video. What I'm going to do tomorrow is the problem that I'm going to give you right now to work on your own as a homework. So here's the problem. I need to erase things. Okay. p is the product, product of integers 1 through 30. Nothing has changed. What is the greatest integer k for which 2 to the k 2 raised to k two raised to k is a factor of p. That's your homework. We will do it tomorrow for day number 125. Okay? I don't want to do it right now because it's going to be too much. We are done with this problem. It was a fun problem. It really was. It makes you think. Anything that makes you think is a fun problem. Because some questions that they give you in the exams are so bloody childish, so babyish, 
makes one wonder why the hell that bloody thing is in there in the first place. They're just too simple. And there are some that, uh, that make you think. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.